I'm calling it. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the September 25th, 2024 ZBA meeting. Uh, the next ZBA meeting will be October 30th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. in the Matthew Thornton room. If you could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Ben, do you have the preamble? Yes. Good evening to those in attendance and watching at home. For the benefit of those who have not previously attended a zoning board hearing, the procedure is as follows. The petitions will be heard in the order they appear on the agenda. However, the chair may change the order at their discretion. The board will treat all petitioners, their representatives, abutters, and other interested parties fairly and with respect. The petitioner will be asked to give an overview of their petition, read through their responses to the criteria applicable to the case, allowing the board to ask questions after each item. State law and local ordinances establish the criteria that must be met in order for the board to grant approval to the petition and it is a petitioner's responsibility to demonstrate that they have met each criteria. Following the presentation, the chair may open the floor for public comment, either in favor or opposed to the request. If necessary, an opportunity for rebuttal will be offered to the petitioner in public. However, discussion will not be allowed to devolve into back and forth arguments. All comments should be made, uh, all comments made shall be directed to the chair. Should a question be asked, the chair will pose the question to the petitioner. Afterwards, the chair will close the public hearing and the board will deliberate and vote on the petition. At this time, please silence all mobile devices. Thank you, Ben. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm sorry. This, this day started way too early this morning. All right, so Rod, uh, I'm gonna have you sit in for Rich this evening. All right, thank you very much. Um, so to the petitioners, we do not have a full board. There's only four of us here. Generally, there's five. So you have the option if you feel you would want to have your, your uh, petition heard by a full board, you have the option to push off till next month when we, have a, we potentially have a full board. Um, if you do here tonight, you, you would need three out of four people to vote in the affirmative in order for your petition to move forward. If you don't get three out of four of the vote in the affirmative, the petition will be denied. Um, so that is, that is your choice if you, if you want to do that. Um, the first petition is Tammy Hoyt. Hot. Hot. Um, petitioner owners variance under section 3.05 of the zoning ordinance to permit the construction of a shed 16 feet from the rear property line whereas 40 feet is required. The parcel is located at 4 Kramer Hill Road in the R1 residential by Soils and Aquifer Conservation Districts, case number ZBA 2024-23. Um, make sure the green light's on and please state your name for the record. Oh, yeah. Well, by the way, I forgot. If you're going to be speaking tonight, please raise your right hand. If anyone's speaking for or against anything at all, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so I'll help you, God. Yes. Uh, I do. All right. So if you could state your name for the record. Tammy Hutt. All right. Tammy, um, why don't you give us kind of a five-minute over or five-second overview of what we're looking at here? So I am replacing a shed that I have. Um, and my, um, and my property, it's kind of in, in the woods a little bit and on the edge of my yard. And it's a 10 by 14 shed and it's been there for a long time and it's starting to rot and I'd like to replace it with a 16 by 16 shed. Okay, and was the shed there when you bought the house or? Yes, it was. It was, okay, mm -hmm. all right. Um, all right, so you have the criteria that was late, uh, that the uh, mm -hmm. community development office gave you. Uh, I think the five points. The five criteria? Yeah, uh, yes. 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 Um, if you could read in each one, starting with granting the variance, if you could stop after you read in the response, um, just in case the board has any questions. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll start with number one, granting the variance. Please. Okay. So the, the shed does not change the environment or impact wetlands, and due to the location, the new shed presents a better visual landscape for the neighbors as it's replacing an old shed that is starting to rot. Any questions regarding that? Okay. All right, number two. It does not impact the private rights Actually, of- Can you read oh. in the question as well? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. The spirit of the ordinance is observed because it does not impact the private rights of others or crowding of the land. Questions? Number three. Uh, granting the variance would do substantial justice because I am replacing an existing shed that is 10 by 14. The new shed will be three feet farther back toward the property line than the existing shed. The new shed would not require me to find a new location, endure extra excavation cost or payment penalty with the shed provider. I will not have to remove any trees to fit the new shed on the property. So I'm looking at the property map here. Mm -hmm. The overview you, looks like your property's pretty wooded in the back, so I can't really see it from the satellite. Yes. So I have, a, I have a picture. I have a picture here as well. This one. Oh, okay. Uh, um, okay. So the, the current shed, you said it's three feet. So you're actually moving this three feet back, further back. Yes, that's correct. Can I ask why? Because there is a... Oh. So the existing shed is 14, or is uh, 10, 10 feet into the woods, right from front to back. And so I'm adding six feet. So I'm, I'm moving it three feet forward. So I don't have to go any further back because I'm trying not to cut down any trees to, to, put the sh to fit the shed where I want to put it. So is, it's a bigger shed or? Yeah, it's slightly bigger. Okay. Yes. All right. So you need the extra three feet just to accommodate that without having to cut down trees and flat land and all of that. That's correct. So you're moving the shed three feet closer to your house. It, it sounds like it's, it's already not qualified. It sounds like you're, you're still not the 40 feet existing, correct? That's correct, because I was, I understand, or I was told that because the shed, the current shed is under, or 160 square feet, I think is the, is the amount that it's, that it didn't need a permit for when it was originally installed. So it doesn't meet the current setback. So you're not moving the shed back any, you're using the same footprint essentially, essentially except it's three feet closer to your home. That. Well, it's it's also three feet back toward the property line. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So it's a little both, yeah. So you're going three feet further into the woods and three feet further out of the woods. Yes. The shed is six feet bigger. That's okay. Great. Gotcha. Yes. That's true. Good. Oh, we Thank should have led with that. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. That was number three. Number four, please. Okay. Uh, granting the variance would not diminish the value of surrounding properties because the shed will be replaced where the existing shed is, this would improve the view of the neighbor property as the existing shed is old and wearing and rotting. Questions? Yes. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Not yet. All right, number, number five. Unnecessary hardship owing to the following special conditions of the property that di distinguish it from other properties in the area explain how no fair and substantial relationship exists between the general public purpose of the ordinance provision and the specific application of the provision to the property. This is the only location that is feasible without having to cut down trees on the property. This shed will overlay where the existing shed is and will be an improvement uh, landscape view of the neighbors. This is also the location that is farthest away from the wetlands. And then B? B, the proposed use is a reasonable one because the new shed is, place, is, is replacing an existing shed. Uh, the, the new shed will be safer and secure from rodents, which is becoming an issue. The new shed will uh, be aesthetically more pleasing to the neighbors. It is located in the woods and I will not have to remove any trees to replace the new shed. Okay. Out of curiosity, um, town sewer or septic? I have a septic. Where's, the where's the so where's the leach field? Is that over? it's in the front of my house? It's in the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, have, you, have you talked to your neighbors 
I mean, because it's wood. It, 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 there's a lot of trees I see there, but in this, you know, as we know, the trees, those will be losing their leaves soon. So yes. um, it'll be visible, I, I would take it. Mm -hmm. Have you talked to your, your neighbors regarding um, the shed? And yes, I've talked to all of them. Okay. <laughs> They've all reached out and supported me doing the shed. So it's been a positive experience so far. Mm -hmm. And over to the, so this is going to go, so if I'm looking at the house straight up, the shed's to the right? Yes, the slightly the to the right, yes. So you have a clearing to the left that's not a, a viable spot for it? Clearing to the left, you mean like, to, so, so if I'm looking left? at the house to the left-hand side of the house, the back of the house, if I was standing at oh, the back yeah. door, um, uh, I'd have to remove some very large trees in okay. order to put it there. Again, like, I'm looking at a satellite view, so that's why I was asking. Yeah, a huge huge pine trees <laughs> okay questions from the board no okay um all right i'll open up the public hearing is anybody like to speak in favor of this petition sure, sure. The there's a microphone right behind you all right. actually yep you can sit there. just make sure you're the green lights on tom solo uh-huh your address as well uh, name and address yeah 64 back river road okay just met this lady tonight heard all the information she presented it sounds like she's just replacing an old shed with a new shed and the new shed's going to give her a little bit more space okay so you know why not she should be able to uh have it granted okay well, thank you thank you is there anybody else like to speak in favor of this petition anybody like speaking you, you, there's a microphone right back there. You can grab that, or you can, you know, or you can come up here, whichever's more, more convenient for you. My name is Constance Hutt, and I live at Fort Cranmer Hill Road in Merrimack. Yep. Um, I live with my daughter, and um, it would be very beneficial to us to be able to have a little bit of extra storage and if you go too far to the left it's very wet there mm -hmm. and um it, there's standing water when it rains okay there's a slope okay. so anyway it would be much nicer than the old one okay <laughs> All right, excellent. Anybody else like to speak in favor? Anybody like to speak against? All right, I'm gonna close the public hearing. Um, questions, comments, deliberations from the board, motions? Um, my thought is that she's essentially replacing what she's got, it's pretty much the same footprint. And of course, um, the lot size, she has no choice other than probably put the shed in her front yard Yep. Um, so therefore, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Um, I make a motion that the board finds the petitioner's responses to the statutory criteria are sufficient, proved each criterion is met, and the board adopts the petitioner's responses as the board's findings of fact, and further, to grant the variance under Section 3.05 of the Zoning Ordinance to permit the construction of a shed 16 feet from the rear property line, whereas 40 feet is required. I have a second. second. Motion made by Rod, seconded by Scott. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, four, zero, zero. Congratulations, your motion passes. You have 30 days that somebody could potentially appeal. Otherwise, good luck. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Next is, um, I'm gonna read this in. For the record, uh, Richard uh, Bashin, petitioner owner, uh, appeal of administrative decision issued on March 22, 2024 that determined junk is being stored on the subject property as defined under section 1.03A29 of the zoning ordinance. The parcel is located at 63 Back River Road in the R4 Residential and Aquifer Conservation District's tax map 7D, lot 275, case number ZBA 2024. Um, where this is kind of a unique situation and uh, that some of you have read uh, where the, um, the appeal came in after the appeal period 
the board would first need to make a determination to hear to hear the appeal of administrative decision if that's something that you want, we want to move forward with so before any public testimony or any public conversation so the board needs to deliberate whether or not to he hear this appeal based upon the fact that the period in which the appeal was made was well after the um, the allotted time so I will open it up for a discussion on the board well, I think it's a moot point because um, we don't have jurisdiction since it's exceeded the time limit for an appeal okay I agree with Ben I mean the the uh, notice was given to him back in March that is correct and yeah, I'm, I'm, I knew, thought it was March and I was just trying to find it on the sheet to confirm it um, and here we are over six months later and it's coming yeah. to us I think there was ample time within that 30 days and even with a little bit of stretch it might have been considered but um, uh, I'm not sure it should be considered at this point. Scott? Yeah, I agree with that. It's, you know, 158 days after total is definitely a stretch, yes. So, do I have a motion? I, I, would, I, would, I would agree. In fact, the fact that the, there was a hand-delivered note by the Merrimack Police Department on August 1st um, and then the response was until almost, you know, a couple of weeks later, the 23rd. Um, I would motion. I would make. I would, I would agree. So, if you'd like to make a motion? Yeah. I move that the appeal, administrative decision, was not in a timely manner, and that we do not have jurisdiction. So, I vote that we do not consider the appeal uh, um, that's been requested of the ZBA. Okay, motion made by Ben. Do I have a second? A second. Second in by Rod. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Motion has been the appeal. Sorry? I don't the appeal for administrative decision has been denied. It's been denied. Did I hear you say that I did not make it within the allotted time that was sent to me by mail? You want to speak into the mic, please? The police department. To my house. Oh, could, could, there is a button on your. Could you press the button? There we go. Mm -hmm. Just for the. So I'm sorry. So the the original the original letter was sent to you, back in March. Was that uh, was the original notice? Twenty second. Yeah, back in March twenty second, twenty twenty four. Yes. And you didn't know, you did not reply within the thirty days of March twenty second, twenty twenty four. What I'm trying to say is. I had a notification delivered to me by the police. That was the third the, notification. That was delivered to me by the police. Mm -hmm. In that notification, it said that I had until August to apply for this. I did this in a timely manner. Before you sentence me to financial death, I want to thank you all for coming here. These are not junk cars. They're Saab antiques. And you're about to sentence me to financial hardship, all because I didn't respond. Now, this is something that's happened several times to me. Every time this happens, somebody comes to my house wanting to buy a car. I'm not interested in selling these cars because I repair these cars for myself and my family and drive them. None of these are junk. All but one run. The issue is they wanted me to put plates on them. I asked, two of these are race cars. One of them's on a trailer. They're my hobby. I am a certified master technician, automobile technician. This is what I do for a living. Well, I did. I'm 67 years old. Between my wife's Social Security and mine, it's about $600 a month less than just my mortgage that I have to keep up until I'm 77. So I'm, I'm sorry if I come off a little harsh. I did come in 
and what was written on the paper is timely. Did I respond fast enough to somebody who said that you have junk in the property? It was a little hard for me to fathom that this could be considered junk. I went and asked if it was okay if I put OHRV registrations on them so they'll know they're there. I couldn't get that for an answer. So Again, if you all want to just shut the door on me, I appreciate you all taking your time to come in here and hear me. I just want to let you know what is going to be a result. Um, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a very dysfunctional person. I don't like outsiders. And I hate being in the situation to have to beg for my life. So with that in mind, if you'll continue to set this is the way it is, it's just another setback in my life. I will get through it. God bless you all for listening to me. Good luck, sir. There's, there's two, no, two no, no, we're, we're, no more comments. Okay. No, no, com question. no comments regarding that. If you have a question regarding something else. My question is regarding a piece of certified mail that I have to sign. She. I can, I can help you out. It was related to that there was going to be a hearing about you just told me that well, I heard you say that there's not going to be a hearing. No, there's going to be no hearing over time. So why didn't you tell me that? Why did you? Why did you? Because if the board decided that it was timely, then the hearing would have taken place. But the board ultimately decided that it was not submitted timely. Therefore, a hearing would not have to, did not take place. That could have been provided in here? It, because we, there's no way to know, know what the board's going to decide. So we have to notice as if the board was going to approve it. I guess I don't understand that proceeding, but. Yeah, it, this one's a very odd case. Usually if it's like. Um, this, this was the first notification I got that there was e even an issue. Yeah, so. He, yeah. There, was other, there were other hearings about this problem? Uh, no, it no. was mail no. sent directly to the um, homeowner. If I, I can't, you're going to need to be on a mic if you're going to oh, speak sorry. any further. So, I mean, but I, I mean, long and the short of it, do appreciate you coming out. There okay. is no need to testify for or against no, the is appeal, but by law, we have to notify all abutters. You, uh, you folks asked me to come here for a hearing, and then you you're you're off the hook. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you. Have a good night. You Thanks. too. Thanks. All right. Um, discussion of possible action regarding items of concern. Anything from community development? No. Okay. I don't think so. Uh, approval of the minutes um, for Oct August 28th. Um, do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we pass the meeting uh, minutes for the Wednesday, August 28th, 2024 meeting. Second. Motion made by Rod, seconded by Ben. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ben? Aye. Aye. Okay. Sorry. Four. Zero, zero. Um, and everybody should have gotten what looks like the new zoning ordinance and building code revised September. Everybody yes, sure? sorry, that probably Make sure you read this tonight, yeah. commit it to memory. There'll be a test next month. Yeah, September. Great sleeping material. <laughs> is this posted online already, too? Uh, yes, this is. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Anything else need to be added? A oh. motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Scott, seconded by Rod. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Gentlemen, thank you very much. See you in October.